Hi, I'm Brad Knowles, producer of Friday Night Flies, hosted by Scott LeBoldis and Scotty Holmes. Enjoy the show. Hey everybody, Zach here for Friday Night Flies. Uh, this week, um, we're on a bit of a time crunch, so i got to knock this one up quick for you. It's no fancy intro or anything. Um, this is a booby fly. Uh, if you've been living under a rock, you've probably never heard of these things. Um, they are a pure tractor pattern. Um, you can tie them in a bazillion different colors. Um, one of the more popular ones is the tequila booby, which is that guy there. It's that yellow and orange. These are pure attractors, like I said. Um, another famous one is the margarita, green and white. One that I am more inclined to fish because it actually looks like something is the, uh, the dragon booby. Uh, this is one that I came up with. Um, this one here I am calling the strawberry cream. So you can see it's a little bit pink, a little bit white. Again, pure tractors. So the thing with these, don't get hung up on, oh, it's this and that and blah, blah, blah. It's an attractor pattern. Colors don't matter. Um, it's really just there to piss fish off. Why these work, some people think it's like a, a Daphnia kind of thing and it just pisses fish off. But pure attractors, when nothing else is working, fish these guys on a super heavy sink tip um, or full sink line, usually a type 6 or type 7. Um, with a very short mono leader and let the thing float off the surface and this thing just kind of does its thing strip it fast strip it slow it's going to hover off the bottom and really piss fish off so let's get to it um, for a hook i'm using a mustad c67s in a size six i believe um, i like this fly to be <clears throat> tied on a larger hook um, when fish are hammering these things they absolutely clobber them and annihilate them so uh, if you're like me, fishing still waters, um, I'd let the fish go. Uh, I don't always fish catch and release lakes, but um, even then I let the fish go. I'm not a big trout fan, so uh, they're fun to catch, not so fun to eat. And uh, I like to let them go, so I fish a bigger hook so that they don't swallow it. Uh, lots of mortality can be related to these uh, flies uh, because they just crush them so hard. Um, so the thing that makes these things float is some foam cylinders, foam cylinder, quarter inch, this is pink, obviously they come in a tube like that, one tube gets me about three sets of eyes, so when I'm tying these in production mode, I'll sit there and cut up all the flies, or cut up all the eyes into thirds, and I'm going to start by putting it on top of the shank, uh, for thread if I didn't mention it, some 140 Danville, um, they call this color fluorescent red, but it's more like a hot pink. So I'm going to put that foam right on top of the eye, kind of split the difference right down the middle, give it two loose wraps, pull straight down nice and tight, give it two more wraps, now I'm going to rotate them, and I'm going to cross wrap about five that way, another two that way, maybe another two, and another two, so by cross wrap I mean I'm going making X's of thread wraps, just like you would with dumbbell eyes and things like that. I'm going to come up behind, I'm going to pull those eyes up, I'm going to cinch all those eye, those wraps together, put some wraps underneath, and I'm going to take my thread back down here. Before I go any further, I'm just going to squish those eyes up how I want them. I'm going to take some brushable super glue here, and just a little dab under the eyes. <clears throat> Usually I'd prep my hooks with the eyes and dab the super glue and then I tie on my bodies and tails and all that kind of stuff afterwards. And I'm just going to pop that out of the vise quick. I'm just going to angle it slightly. Just so I get a good easy point to tie in my tail. So for tails you can use just about anything. Um, as you saw on the tequila and the uh, margarita booby, the green one, um, I used marabou. For these pure attractors that are in kind of obnoxious -y kind of colors, I like to use Flashaboo or any kind of flash really. Uh, Flashaboo seems to be an easy one that everybody has. So what I'm going to do here, looks like I got a little bit too much there. Yeah, whatever, who cares. It's an attractor pattern. It's meant to draw fish in. So this is a Mirage Flashaboo number 3005 and an opal pearl um, lots of cool colors to this one kind of looks pink kind of looks purple kind of looks green or blue really depends on uh, the light that it's in 
So I've got about maybe eight to ten strands there, quite a bit. Just gonna lick the ends to hold everything together. And I'm gonna tie this on the way up the hook shank here. Keeping a uniform body isn't super important. And so you're just gonna cover it up with a big huge chenille anyway. So there we go. So now I got my tail tied in. I get to be about the length of the body. Just trim it flush. Little trick. I just lick the ends of my flashaboo. And I will tuck that away on the desk and it's ready for the next one, which is kind of nice. So now I can kind of seat this down again. Oops. Sorry, got caught there. There we go. Now for the body, it's a material called Fritz or Jelly Fritz. Um, this stuff's from F and F. Um, kind of funny, similar initials to Friday Night Flies. Um, this is the marshmallow pink. This is going to be the rear half of the fly. And we've got this over at Pacific Angler, um, where I am located now, which is 78 East Broadway. We have in a bunch of different colors. So all I did there, so I cut this, it's on a cord, just like any kind of chenille. It's one-sided, similar to a Palmer or Polar chenille. I just pulled off some of the uh, material just to expose the core. And I tie this with all the material facing down. Just allows when I wrap, everything's facing backwards. So just a little bit of the core showing, really lock that down. And this I'm going to go about three quarters of the way up the body for the first color, which is usually about five or six wraps. You can also get this stuff online. Uh, Canadian Lawn is a good resource as well if you're not in Vancouver. Uh, Kent is awesome. He's up in the Kamloops area. Yeah, but we have a bunch of it in the shop. We do ship as well, so give us a call if you're looking for it. Five, six... Six or seven wraps up to that point. Not sure, I wasn't really counting, so secure it in, trim away the excess. And then the front color is a really cool color. Um, same stuff, jelly fritz, I mean, fluorescent milk, so it's like a fluorescent white. Um, this is going to be great for like bait fish and fry patterns and things like that come the spring. Uh, I got a few ideas kicking into my head already. The beauty of this stuff is it breathes really well with the extra length, but when it gets wet and you're stripping it, it all slicks down really nice. So the fluorescent milk is a nice color to put uh, on top of other colors. And it adds kind of a cool halo effect. If you tie egg patterns and you don't fish beads like a lot of us do, um, putting this on top of your, your egg flies would have a really cool look to it. This, we're not going to go as heavy. We're going to go maybe three to four wraps. We're just palmering it back as we wrap. I think three is going to be enough there. Just a slight halo on this one. Cinch it down. Once I trim it away, I like to pull everything back and give a couple more securing wraps. Now the tricky part, I'm going to pull the eyes back. I'm going to give a couple wraps in front of the eyes, but right behind the hook eye. Grab my whip finisher. Very carefully, I'm just going to give a few whips there, finish that fly off. So I need to take a little bit of a break in between uh, my Christmas Island fly patterns that I'm working on and uh, tie something else up for the shop. need something with a little bit of color. Uh, you can only tie so much tan and white flies. Um, so here you go. That is a strawberry cream booby. You can add some head cement under the eyes if you like. Um, I find it's not really necessary. They're pretty protected. Uh, there you have it. A killer Stillwater tractor that should be in your box. Play with colors and uh, hopefully you get some success. Thanks so much, guys. We'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.